In addition to my work at the Technion, I'm also an artist. Being a painter and sculptor, I came up with the idea of establishing a gallery within the Technion and looked for an interesting subject for a first exhibition at the Technion Gallery. Images through a microscope lens would be a fantastic idea for the first exhibition at the Technion, and so I decided to choose images that seemed like nature photography. They could come from different scientific fields, but they must all resemble nature. And so I came up with the idea of Technion Lapscapes. I met up with researchers. I'd called them up, set up a meeting, gather material and bring it back with me. I observed the images through the microscope lens with an artistic eye, and every image I chose underwent computer rendering. Half the images came colored as part of the research, while the other half were painted by me, though I tried to interfere as minimally as possible. I met with Yaron Paz, who's also my friend, and he showed me some images that he had taken through a microscope. For many years we are working on photocatalysis. That means the use of light to induce reactions and in particular uh, to induce reactions that will be utilized within the framework of environment, water decontamination, air decontamination and even surface decontamination. This project was aimed to take the abilities of the photocatalyst that we are making and try to get basic knowledge out of them, which has to do with the origin of life. Choosing a scanning electron microscopy was a kind of a natural choice for us. When I saw that image, I chose it immediately and exclaimed, Yaron, it's a bouquet of roses! I then sat down at my computer and rendered part of it with green, the other part with pink, and that was it. It came to life. The sample I'm preparing is nickel particles on yttria stabila zirconia substrate. Nickel is a metal and zirconia is a ceramic. I'm interested in the interface between solid nickel and zirconia, which is important for the operation and efficiency of modern fuel cells. After cleaning the substrate, I deposit thin films of nickel on top of the substrate and then heat the substrate with a film in a special furnace. The nickel film breaks up and agglomerates just like raindrops on a window and forms thousands of beautiful faceted crystal on the substrate. When we look at different objects using our eyes, we use visible light. When we're interested in viewing smaller objects like my micron scale crystals, visible light can't help us. In this case, we used a scanning electron microscope. The microscopes I use are my eyeglasses. Without them, it would simply be impossible to conduct my research. The artwork Raindrops was initially in black and white, but I could immediately see it as raindrops. I didn't even have to think twice. I immediately named it Raindrops, and I really loved it. All I did was sharpen the image and add the blue shade into it. I didn't interfere with the image at all. The exhibition has a certain element of surprise. The visitors come in and see a landscape, but once they read the description, they realize that the landscape photo or the flower they're looking at is something totally different. It's an actual photo taken at a laboratory. The other element of surprise is that when you look at the image, you can't tell if it's an image of flora, fauna, or an inanimate object. You can't tell if it was taken by the Faculty of Medicine, if it's a human cardiac cell, or if it's a polymer from the Faculty of mechanical engineering. It is wonderful to see how my micron scale images, which I use in my work, resembles things we all see in our daily life. <laughs>